Okay, we have something new. It's a 118th scale six wheeler from FMS. It's called the Cheyenne. So 160 bucks for this thing and it's traditional FMS meaning uh, same motor same wheels same electronics whatnot so nothing groundbreaking but it is it is a it's obviously a hard body they used to have an Atlas I think that's how they launched their company that one was a Lexan this is hard body uh, seems really well built it normally comes with a cage it's in here I haven't really mess with this I just went out for a test ride Cheyenne 6x6 118 scale also has a, a bumper uh, bumper is scale looking it has uh, room for LEDs so traditional you have your uh, headlamps here your your taillights that don't work <laughs> they only work when you're backing up or, or you're or you're turning or well, they're not on right now so um opening hood pretty cool wish the doors open they don't open no way it's hard to get in there in that interior uh it's a headache and the this tailgate as far as i know opens oh yeah nice uh nice touch on that nice tolerance not gonna go anywhere uh, and then here it is steering is is as good as usual strong servo fast Okay, so this is high speed and this is high torque. So I think it uses some black magic to to give it this, uh, the sim to simulate low gearing. So here it is, uh, 600, 620 grams for this. Uh, the Toyota is 530, so about 90 grams more. This one's about 230, so big difference. Mogrich uh, to scale. So what we'll do is show you some fancy details on this machine. And maybe show you some of the torque that it has. So obviously steering radius is not great. So really good modulation. I don't know how FMS does it. You know, without a warm gear. So let's climb this. See, not bad, huh? So you do, you can do some crawling, but definitely the the gating item on this, the weak point is the motor. It's the same motor as what's here, and already wish for a stronger motor now that it's 600 grams not only like with the weight but you have you're driving two more wheels now your six wheel drives it just doesn't have enough power to match up to the capabilities of the vehicle so um what is it it's like a jeep so if, if jeep made a six by six that'd be cool it would it would it would be like this of course you had this in real life huh so the center gravity is not bad uh it's kind of kind of heavy but uh, well, this stance is okay, and then the body, you know, maybe the body is kind of low. Mm -hmm. It's okay, but it, it doesn't have the the rear quarter. So, so there it is. 160, pretty fair. I think this one came out at 100, around there. Uh, SEX 24 is now going up in price, 134. So something. Something new and different for the kids. I really wish, you know, bigger battery, bigger motor, uh, damp shocks is really what's needed, opening doors. So cool to have a new model, but it would be nice to, to see some new engineering from, from FMS. So enjoy the test ride, guys. Thanks a ton. All right, are you ready for a proper test? We went to the rock course. 
anyone can show it rolling around in the dirt of course it will do that but we felt six wheels it should have some potential so we're here doing some lines here right there little steps and it does stall out and so on the steepest steps you need a little bit of momentum there's a climbing gear option you definitely have to use that it's a little slower but it has a lot more modulation resolution on the throttle and a little more torque we feel so it stalls out less but here as as we're backing up that means we're stalling out full throttle nothing's happening so back up give it a little momentum this one there's a big hole there and as we do this gap we tried it for 30 seconds couldn't quite get through it doesn't have sliders this one's interesting because we saw a little hill here a little you have to make a three-point turn six wheels we had our doubts it was able to do it in a tight space and then boom little punch and it was able to use the hard body as a slider and here is something really cool very tricky no 124th hard body you can do this in our book this is pretty steep but it's got a nice ramp and you know the six wheels are definitely able to caterpillar its way through notice a lot of three-point turns and it gets through so something really cool about this vehicle is the throttle control you know we had the another FMS vehicle before the Atlas and that hard hardy uh, throttle control that was, that was a Lexan body but this one has, has, has pretty good modulation and right here boom and that's cool because most vehicles would just rolled over but this one has good drag brake and with a six-wheeler one thing you might not realize is it descends really well because it doesn't flip over forward you know the weight of the rear keeps keeps that thing down so here is a test little little gap here and then right there I want to tip, tip forward but just gave it a little gas a little throttle and it survived and in here it's able to span that gap it was it we were able to climb that a little bit but we have to do a, a, a little push uh, but once it got to the smooth part it was able to do it and right here is super cool that's a big gap wheels are able to do it and we're really just full throttling this thing just to get it through so definitely could use a lot more power um, and torque it's unfortunate it has the same power and battery as this the small vehicles uh, maybe you're ready for an upgrade or three cell and right here this is a very tough descent and boom right there six wheeler descending ability for sure and right there is jammed up it has an optional front bumper we didn't put it on it will just detract from performance and but we're able to wiggle through the servo is pretty strong right there it settled in it didn't flip over the center gravity is not bad it being a truck um, it's not an SUV but it's a hard body so it's kind of impressive that it can do this so really a lot of upgrade potential but the motor has to go first meaning before you add weight to this really got to get a uh, more torquey motor uh, before doing low CG weight or greedy or grippy tires it, it's it, it's balanced as it is until it gets more power all right